Hello all performers, hope you're having a great day. And hopefully you know by now that I will never sugarcoat or I will never BS you guys. I will always tell it like it is. And I think in life we can learn more, as much if not more from our mistakes and times when things didn't work out for us uh, as we can from our wins and from our successes. And it just happened to be that a couple of weeks ago I was asked to um, come to speak at for a, a huge global company um, at their annual awards banquet in 2019. And they were going to be bringing people in from all over the world. Super cool company. A lot of synergy with what they talk about and kind of my outperforming principles. And I thought that it was all signed, sealed, and delivered. And it was a done deal. And then sure enough, a couple of days ago, uh, I got the message that the executive team just decided that they were going to present internally and they weren't going to bring in an outside speaker. And it's kind of jarring when that happens to you. And it's a little bit of a, a blow to, you know, whether you're in sales or not, if you've ever kind of been on the precipice of something or thought that you had something done and then it's just kind of yanked away from you, it's, uh, it's not a very good feeling. And I was sitting down and I was talking to one of my friends about it yesterday and the number one question and the first question that I always ask myself anytime I get a result in any area of my life that I don't want or that didn't work out is I ask myself the question, is there anything I could have done to influence this outcome differently? And that's the question. And in this case, you know, when I look at it, okay, uh, maybe I could have done a preliminary presentation or something for the executive team. I've never really done that before and I don't know any speakers that do. So maybe I could have done that. But the reality of it is when I look at this outcome that didn't work out for me, the answer to that question is probably no. And if the answer is no, then you just kind of have to leave it up to God and the universe and just kind of what will be, will be. And I mean, I still have my contact from the company. She said, you are by far our number one choice. We'll definitely do business together in the future. And it's all well and good. But when you ask yourself this question, anytime you get a result that you don't want, a lot of times you're going to find that the answer is yes. When you, when you ask yourself the question, is there anything I could have done to influence this outcome differently? When that answer is yes, now all of a sudden you look at it and maybe you say, well, I could have done this or I could have done that. And that is how we continue to grow. That is how we continue to make progress and learn from our mistakes and to quote unquote, turn that failure into feedback. And part of the reason that I'm talking about this right now is it's just a natural time of the year with it being mid-December to kind of be reflecting on 2018 what went well, what didn't go so well, and also project and look forward into 2019. And as you're looking at your 2018 and the things that maybe you wish that this would have happened or, or maybe there was something that you didn't get the result that you wanted, ask yourself that first question. Is there anything I could have done to influence that outcome differently? And notice I'm using the word influence, not control, because we can't control outcomes. And then if that answer is yes, where you say, well, maybe I could have done this or I could have done that, the key part of it is to not beat yourself up over it because you didn't do this or you didn't do that. Those are the things that we all take and we harness and we put into play and we say, you know what, learn from that. I'm going to put that into play in 2019 to be a better enhanced version of myself and to make sure that that doesn't happen again. And as long as we're doing that, where we're continuing to make those steps, we're continuing to learn from things that didn't go well and what we could have done perhaps differently or better, that is how we continue to learn, that is how we continue to grow, and that is how we continue to outperform. So if this video served you, do me a favor, share it with somebody else that might also find value. Um, and I want to wish you guys a healthy, happy, high-performing holiday season. <laughs> How about that alliteration? Uh, but I want to wish you guys all the best. God bless. Take care. Thanks.